Hello everyone, welcome to the Love Boxing Channel. Today is another Triple G fight. His opponent was Vanessa Martirosian, who said before the fight that he would knock out Triple G. What happened next? Let's watch. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the unbeaten Triple G! Gennady! Gennadyevich! Go! One of those moments in him tonight. And Max, you mentioned that this feels like a throwback to an old-time HBO fight. For you, here's one more reason we haven't even mentioned so far. Vanis Martirosian is promoted by Don King. <laughs> it's hard to find that in the sport yet, or, or, or still at this hour. Fighter in against Gennady Golovkin. Martirosian flashing a nice jab. Throwing some good combinations already. sticking the jab in Golovkin's mouth. Golovkin lands the left hook. Oh, my Russ is hurting. Golovkin known for his scary power in both hands and would like to remind fans of that after his last couple fights. That's what happens again when you... Papa let his head back a couple times. Gennady landed a good hook on him, popping his head back one time. So we're getting some good exchanges in early. The bad thing for Bonnie is that that 24 month layoff is going to tear early. So much energy from a fighter, as most real fighters know. Secondly, when you haven't been in there, the little things, the timing, the making a guy miss by a hairline, I mean, it's very difficult to do because you don't know that feeling until you get out there and have it again. They say the last thing to leave a fighter is his punch. But we've also seen fighters age and lose that knockout snap. Earlier, too, we always talk about Triple G being 36 years old, but Triple G is an elite fighter. An elite fighter at 36 is not a bad fighter still. Floyd Mayweather was still dominating people at 36 years old. It's and changed over the last decade or of so. Of course it has. So 36 is not an old fighter, especially when you haven't taken a lot of punishment. As the most prolific jabber in boxing. He lands more than 10 jabs per round. Nobody else in boxing has done that. And he's landed 14 this round. A hard right hand by Martirosian. Knocks Golovkin back. I think Varnas just hurt uh, Golovkin a little bit. I agree. And he and he hit him with a good right hand counter before he landed the left. Followed by a good jab, yes. Come in with a jab, a right hand, and Triple G thought it was over. Then all of a sudden, bing, there goes another jab. And that's what knocked him off balance because it's the punches. Came up in boxing in Southern California. A lot of Mexican fighters, a lot of gym wars. And he thinks he's uniquely, Golovkin. He thinks he's uniquely prepared for Golovkin's Mexican style, but those are some monster Upper shots. Uppercut by Golovkin, and Martin grabs and holds on. That hurt him really bad, though, Jim. That uppercut hurt really bad. That was a good shot. He by held Golovkin. on to Golovkin long enough to avoid being called for a knockdown, even though his knee hit the canvas. Dak Reese ruled it a throw by Golovkin. And Jim, he's too, he's kind of too uh, slow right now to get out of the way of Triple G's big punches. So if Triple G turns it up right now, he can get him out before Bunnish gets ready. And he better. A lot of pressure to deal with. A lot of outside the ring stuff. And he gets hit with a right hand again by Marta Rosier. Oh. oh, hard left hook by Golovkin. Right hand by Golovkin. Another left. Hard left hook. Down goes Marta Rosier. Onto his face oh, as Reese picks six, up the count. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're done. Second round knockout for Golovkin. And I would have got disqualified for that. Roy is not wrong about that. I would have got disqualified. I don't think Triple G should be disqualified for that. Once again, the uppercut that caused the problems early. Hit him right on the chin with a beautiful uppercut. Doesn't get any better than that, Jim. Coming in for the attack. Overhand right over the top, which Vanish had got caught with several times before. And he comes back with a jab, another jab, a good jab to set up the right hand again. Another great shot, followed by a tap right hand, a big left hook, and that pretty much finished Vanish right there. Followed by right hand, but Vanish was out at that point. Another hook, boom, and now Vanish is done. And there's a right hand, he's down right there on the ropes, and here's a, well, it was, he was going down, so it wasn't that bad. I don't think his knee had reached the canvas, but the glove may have. Technically, he's down the moment. If the ropes are holding you up, you're down. That's right. And I think the ropes are holding him up, but guys, that was a clean knockout, even if it was a little um, 
uh, a little messy at the end. That, I don't, that would never well, something to went wrong according to Marty Rossian's plan, but maybe he won the first round. Thanks for watching this video until the end, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care.